Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Adam. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to account for investment in our associate. Now let's look at the question. Starting with the requirement. On the basis or on the assumption that Amber Co is an associate of Cardico, what would be the current amount of the investment in Amber in the consolidated statement of financial position of Cardico as at 30 September 20XY, the year end? Now, the details Cardico acquired. 240,000 of Amber Co's 800. So, uh, even if you are not giving to say uh, on the basis or on the assumption that Amber Co is an associate of Cardi, you could as well calculate the percentage of interest. And that should be 240 over 800. And let's see how much that will give us. 240 divided by 800. And that is 30%. 30%. And you need this percentage for the sharing of the post acquisition profit or losses. Now, let's continue. The acquisition of 240 equity shares for six per share on 1st October 20x4. Now, what do you need to calculate the investment in association? In terms of pro forma, the investment in associate, the investment in associate should be the cost of investment, which we're given to be 240,000 times six. Let's see how much that will give us. So that will be one, four, four, zero thousand and then we have to look out for the share of profit so let's continue amber close profit after tax for the year and the 30th september x5 was four hundred thousand and it paid an equity dividend on 20 september of 150 so what you also need to look at is on the date of acquisition, which is the 1st of October to the year end 30th September X5, that will give you 12 months. So it's a full year. And you need to identify that. So if it's less than 12 months, you time a person. Uh, let's break it down. So we need the share, share of profit. So Specifically, we say show post acquisition profit, and the profit was four hundred, so four hundred thousand times thirty percent, and it's a full year, so four hundred times point three, and that will give us one twenty, and because they paid a dividend of one fifty. We have to less the dividend, less dividend received. And the dividend received is 150 times 30%. So 150 times 0.3, that will give us 45. So let's see the adjustment. So I have 1440 plus 120 minus 45. And this gives us one five one five thousand. And please note here that the reason we have deducted the dividend from this is that the dividend is paid out of profit. Dividend is paid out of profit. And because dividend is paid out of profit, you have to deduct the amount of dividend received 45 from the total profit received now in effect remember the investment in associate the investment in associate 
in associate is an asset in fact it's a non current asset now the dividend is received as cash or bank now this is also an asset and it's a current asset so in the total asset calculation if you do not deduct the dividend from the profit in calculating the investment in, a, in associate you'll be double counting and it's the reason we say that in building up the pro forma to account for the investment associate whenever there's a dividend paid we take out the dividend from the share of profit in order not to double account for it the dividend because the dividend when it is received is already in the cash of the group and to avoid double counting we deduct it from the profit the share of profit so now let's conclude this question by looking at which option is the answer so the calculation is 1515. So this will give us option C. I hope this helps you in your preparation for the FR exam. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.